Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Still hanging on to a little bit of clear sky in the city of Lebanon. Had some sunshine today. Hopefully you bottled it up and got to enjoy a little bit of it because tomorrow that won't be the case as our next storm system and another potent one lifts to the north and east and for the most part, it's going to bring us a lot of rain, maybe a little snow to some of our far northwestern neighborhoods. For now, just some clouds getting picked up on satellite. Nothing on the Storm Team Live Radar Network, at least across the valley. But as we widen the scope just a little bit, we can see where the heart of this storm system is impacting much of the plains right now. Plenty of snow falling across the upper Midwest too, throughout Missouri, up into Iowa and Nebraska, with snow wrapping all the way around into northern Texas. On the warmer side, the southern side of this storm system, severe weather threats are on the table, and that includes the potential for tornadoes, and that also is going to be on the table tomorrow across the southeastern United States. None of that here at home, but definitely rain and some wind through the remainder of the evening will fall back into the middle 30s to around 40 degrees. Clouds continue to increase tonight. It'll be chilly, but above normal for this time of January around 30 and then tomorrow it's an impact day for that heavy rain and the gusty wind. But I think for some of our northern and western locales, we'll have to watch out for a little bit of snow at the onset as temperatures rise close to 50 by the evening ahead of that front. We're down to 34, almost freezing in Lewistown, 39 in Gettysburg. It is 40 on the dot here in the Red Rose City. We have 37 in the capital at the moment. As we chunk things out time wise throughout the remainder of our uh, Tuesday or throughout our Tuesday, I should say in the morning. We're watching out for that snow to the north and west. Some mix as well to the south and east. It's all rain. Minor accumulations are on the table, maybe on the order of an inch or two. Then it's all washed away, but it still could make things a little tricky in the morning from lunchtime and beyond. The rain starts to really increase in intensity. The wind starts to get going and that wind only going to increase as the storm system continues to move to the north and east could have gusts between 45 and 55 miles per hour with the heavy rain from dinner time through the late evening. Watch for the ponding on the roadways and you'll want to watch for some flooding as well. There's that winter weather advisory from 7 o'clock tomorrow morning through 1 tomorrow afternoon. Not a big story with this system, at least for the bulk of the valley. The rain, that's the bigger story. Flood watches for all of us. Wind advisories too for a good chunk of the viewing area from noon Tuesday through 2 a.m. for the gusts that could occasionally rise close to 50 miles per hour. Predictor shows the snow, but watch what happens. It comes down good for a few hours. Then the warm air winds out, moderate to heavy rain coming down from about one all the way through the evening drive. Not going to be a fun one in that regard tomorrow. Then it starts to taper off dinner after dinner time through about midnight, and then the upper low starts to move in, and that could bring us uh, some rain or snow showers on Wednesday. A good soaking. I think some spots could pick up over two inches of rain. That's why flooding is a big concern with this one. Now another system moves in on oh, this one's heels on the news. 8 storm team 10 day forecast Friday into Saturday. This one looks to still be more wet than white, but look at the cold air as we head through the first half of next week. Highs in the 30s. Another system moves in. This one may bring us some more winter weather by Tuesday of next week.